Hey everybody, welcome back to this week's show. I'll tell you what, like I do each and every week, it is going to be one of them days where we're going to teach you guys how to properly use jerk baits. And I'll tell you, this time of year, it's probably one of the most effective ways to catch pike, smallmouth, and walleyes. You know, this is one of them days too where, you know, we got a pretty decent wind, the water's up, and the fish are biting. So hang on to your highness. Larry Smith Outdoors is brought to you by Warrior Boats, Vortex, Tubble Towels, Bartline Barrels, Magic Products, Power Sports Company, Mike's Country Meats, Leroy Meats, River's Edge Tree Stands, Eskimo, and the MRD Group. Do you remember like I always say, it's a great day to be alive. What you guys doing, Lon? Hey, is that Lon? Sure. Hi, Lon. Hey, Lon. <sighs> I'm telling you, this is going to be one of them days, you know, you got a couple of alphas in the boat, you know. All right, listen to this guy, you know. Here, you know something. If you people want to make a lot of money, like a tremendous lot of money, only work one day a week, buy yourself a tire shop. You just make start rigging my stuff up. I'm driving right now. Okay, that Larry on it. That'd be good. Apparently that lure has never caught a fish ever. Hey, I'll tell you what a way to start off everything this morning, you guys. Not a real big fish right here. Got my gloves on today. This is no doubt a great time of year to start utilizing jerk baits. And it's a fun way to fish, you know? There's so many different ways to fish this time of year and so many different things to fish for. You just kind of wonder from day to day what you're gonna do. But I kind of always like to try to predict the weather uh, as much as I can and kind of utilize what kind of conditions you have for what kind of fishing I'm gonna do. I'm saying we're gonna go for 70. 70 multi-species twitch 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 baby that's the name of the game really slow you know that's what Chris was just saying super slow you know that water when it's cold oh, oh big bass oh I'll that oh man oh that is a giant smallie hey you don't think twitch bait fishing is worthwhile I'll tell you right there is a prime example of what it takes to get these fish to bite in cold conditions. You know, we've had such a cold spring this year. We're in the May, water temperatures are still unbelievably cold. The fish are obviously set up in the places they need to be, but getting them to bite has been the trick. And you know, when you can use twitch baits and work that bait really super, super slow, that's what's gonna get these fish to trigger. So we want you guys to catch more fish so we're gonna get you guys all tuned in on the proper twitch baits to use, the proper rods, the proper line, and the proper techniques. Giant smallmouth on a custom Leary. Oh, Look at this massive drop here to one six to two six. <laughs> nice job. Twitch, twitch, twitch. Twitch, twitch. Twitch, twitch. And custom bait. Where do you get them baits from? Out of Lonnie's gift shop. Lonnie's gift shop. Nice bass. That's a giant. Real nice and easy. Twitch, twitch. Hits it on the pause and slow. Nice slow and slow. Yeah. Go. Very slow. Just basically using small twitch baits. Got a snap on there. Uh, about 25 pound test leader, and uh, just really super slow. I see you little critter. I couldn't get bit there, so what I did is I actually slowed it down where I was doing like 10 and 15 second pauses because I've seen the last couple casts fish follow the bait up, but they wouldn't take it. So again, just trying to really, you know, get them fish to trip. You can see the fish, you, know, you can see them in electronics, you can see them visually, 
but to try to get them fish to actually to go, you know, sometimes you just got to keep experimenting with the length of the paws and really the, a, a little shorter twitch. Hey, today what we're basically using is I'm using a seven foot custom mags rod. This is a medium fast action, which is perfect. You know, like we always talk about, you know, rods are actually designed for the different weights and different types of lures you're using. And this rod is absolutely perfect for these twitch baits. I've got it loaded up with a 10 pound test braid and we're using a 25 pound test fluorocarbon leader. Again, mainly because so the pike don't cut us off as much and we're not losing our baits. But you know what? Working it slow is really what it's all about. What's a freaking pansy? Oh, well, we're throwing that five miles an hour. <laughs> well, you know what? I believe in making the first cast before the boats even stop. And I say, hook us. Read them and weep, girls. What does it cost for one of them custom lures? Chris Custom right there. It says my name on it. That's my bait. Can you buy them for $19.95? $19.95, you can get all the customs you all want. All the customs you want. You know, again, it's just basically, we keep watching that water temperature and trying to stay on the warmest pocket of water and a little bit dirtier too, you know? And obviously it makes sense because anytime you find water that's a little dirtier, it's typically this time you're gonna be warmer water for sure. Obviously, because you guys know the sun is gonna penetrate and warm up that dirtier water faster. And that's exactly where the fish are gonna be. And you can actually see the bait in these dirty pockets too. So always pitching, of course, downwind. And again, using that seven foot medium fast mags rod. But I'm just kind of keeping my rod down like this. Nice kind of having that high vis line too, because then you can see it jump. One grabs it. There, just like that. <laughs> you see how slow I was working it? Makes a night and day difference. And I'll tell you something, I learned a lot. And you know, when you're learning, you always want to learn from people that are much better than I, than you are. In the last couple years, we've been fishing with Chris from Badgerland Tires, and I'll tell you, that guy is no doubt the master of twitching crankbaits for sure. Nice fish. But again, you saw how slow I was twitching that bait and pausing it. The pause is everything. And that's a perfect fish right there. That's, you know, probably in that 24 inch range. Perfect eater right there. I like to keep them, you know, 24 to about 30 inches is as big as I'll keep them right there. This is incredible. We're in the May and the water temperatures are this cold, but anytime you get a sunny day, you definitely want to start a little bit later or end up fishing longer and really, you know, kind of take advantage of it too because your best fishing is always going to be later in the morning and in the afternoon. Oh, 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 oh yeah. He's coming on. Right? He's coming on. That's what we're looking for right there. We'll take Probably more like 32. that. Fish. Oh, got another one. Wow. She is lit up now. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. I'm loving it. Twitch, twitch, twitch. Ice Northern Pike. Probably about 24. Excellent table fare. Oh, big small one. One more cast and we're going up. Hey, hey. No, no, no. Whoa. Whoa. That is a giant. I am absolutely loving it. You know what? Again, having the right rod, the right line, the right bait, the right cadence pays off. Oh, that is just absolutely a tank. This definitely is probably the biggest smallmouth I've ever caught. That's probably, I don't even want to say you guys, because otherwise you know what's going to happen. People are, are going to say, you know what? No, it was smaller than that. Like now we're in some dirty water. You can't really, you can't really see the fish visually, but no doubt you can see, you can see the fish on the locator. And that's the great part about using the side imaging or using like a Garmin live scope or, or the new Mega Live. You know what? Electronics really play such a key factor into being more productive when it comes to fishing. Man, that is absolutely a giant, giant, giant smallmouth. You know, right there is a prime reason why I say every week on the show that I give special thanks to all of our military men and women for the great service that they give this country. 
and of course all of our law enforcement agents you guys i'm just telling you you know what you need to kind of slow down in life and really understand why we have things so good a lot of people have given their lives for us to have this kind of freedom so think about that the next time that you're enjoying your day and you see your, your beautiful kids or you're driving along and you see just all these great surroundings that we have there's a reason why we have this and we need to make sure we protect it and make sure we keep the things that we deserve to have so hey let's see if we can catch another fish the size of that bass yeah look at that one it's got a bad eye obviously the lure scotty's got one going there another smallie i'm gonna let mine go here there. Northern. <laughs> Got your northern to move. All right. Saw that small most coming at it. Game on, boys. Look at that. That's a nice fish. <laughs> oh, I'm loving that. Look at that rod, too. Hey, if you guys are looking for a really great custom rod, man, I'm telling you, you gotta definitely just buy one of these mags rods. I'll guarantee you that you will have an arsenal before too long. That's a nice fish. Now that one, I'm definitely gonna keep. That's right around that 28 to 30 mark right there. When it comes down to catching fish, again, just really paying, paying attention to what's going on around you is, is key. And what I mean by that is that, you know, obviously you're dealing with cold water, you know, you're always looking for them warmer pockets. Time of day is everything. You know, we started off this morning, things were pretty slow, but it got super cold again last night, you know? So now things are heating up. It's about 11 o'clock and no doubt the bite is on. What, well, come on, is that Scott's fish? Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one, buddy. Oh. Look at the build on these fish too, which is pretty cool. Most of these pike obviously are all done spawning. They still spawn pretty yeah. early in the year. But you know, this is one of them techniques where basically you can catch these fish year round like this. Guaranteed. So yep. anytime open water, obviously, it is, they kind of move out into a little bit deeper water yep. once that water temperature warms up a little bit and they'll hang on the edges a lot of these big weed beds too. Yep. So, but I'm, you know, you and I, we love the fish pike. This I always fun. have been a bit, I've always been a big pike guy. I've flown into Canada, fished a bunch of, just strictly pike lakes up there. Mm -hmm. I don't know if a lot of people are like walleye, there walleye, but there I like a, a change. That is absolutely awesome. I can't think of really a better way to spend the day than to come out and do a little twitch bait fishing and uh, catch a bunch of giant smallmouth, big, big pike, and talk trash, right? Talk smack. Hey, I'll tell you what, everybody. What I did is I actually went to a spoon and uh, just to see if I could get them on that. And I'm basically twitching that spoon. This is kind of a new cadence that I picked up a few years ago. And uh, I'm using a moonshine spoon here. And I'll tell you what, just pitching that spoon and working it the same way that I was working a crankbait, these guys said it couldn't be done. And anytime you tell me something can't be done, I'll tell you, I'm going in that direction. Yeah, I like to kind of communicate with the wildlife. That's a nice fish right there. Perfect eater right there, and he's going to go to the live well. Remember that one time? Remember when you, the doubters said, there's no way you're going to catch them on them moonshine spoons? Well, let me tell you this, Mr. Chris. They love the moonshine! Woohoo! Thank you, Tom. Thank you, everybody over there at Moonshine Lures for building such great products. Look at that. Absolutely slam that. There's a lot of secretive stuff I hear that goes on in that shop there up in the UP. And I can understand why. They make things that work. Whoa! Whoa. I don't think he likes that spoon in his lip. <laughs> you guys stay to your crankbaits, right? This is a nice fish, too. It's a trout. Oh, throw. get the net, get the net. Oh, now, you oh, now we get to, oh, yeah. It's pulling. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 baby, I'm loving this stuff. This one's all Just beautiful, beautiful fish right there. Hey, again, I want to thank uh, our good friends at Moonshine Lures for building just absolutely great, great products. I am so proud uh, that they sponsor 
Oh, sponsor of the show. Let's let this guy go before we hurt her. Oh, okay, okay, we'll let you go, we'll let you go. What, you got something to say to Tom? Don't build such oh, good, don't build such good products. I hate being caught. Let's let her go. Four species, and I have the biggest brown. The only brown. Oh, it's the only brown, all right. Built for fishermen, built by fishermen. Um, really, that says it all. It's the family here. It's, it's not a big, big conglomerate, it's a family. They treat you, you feel like you're in a family, you know. When you put those two together, an amazing product and amazing people, it's just the type of company you want to be involved with. Not only because of just the great boats, but because of the camaraderie that the Warrior family has. The customer service is amazing. Uh, they never leave you hanging. So come join the Warrior family. Hey everybody, it is our Leroy lunchtime, and of course I can't think of an easier, better way to have lunch than have some fresh brats from Leroy Meats. Remember, in Fox Lake and in Horicon, you know what, it makes it easy for us to get off the water. I've got my grill ready to go. In 15 minutes, we're ready to chow down. And again, I love to eat quality products. And if you're looking for quality products, you definitely want to check out Leroy Meats. Hey, I'll tell you what, it is definitely time to eat. And today, the Philly cheesesteak looks pretty darn good. And Peter, you get the first one, man. You want ketchup, mustard? I'll take ketchup. A little ketchup on there? Thank you. You know, again, that's the great part about Leroy's is that when you're looking for quality food, I can't think of a better place to go to. And hey, you know what? It was a great day on the water today. Well, so finish it off with a great lunch. Hey, this week's tip of the week brought to you by our good friends up at Mike's Country Meats, the finest jerky on the planet. You know, today is one of them kind of days where obviously it got real cold last night and the water temperature dipped down. And you know, when we started off, our cadence was really slow. We were using jerk baits and we were just, a lot of pause was in there. And we were pausing the baits anywhere from five to 12 seconds. And really that made a big difference. But now that it's warmed up, and the water temperature has come up probably at least three to four degrees, really speeding up that pause really makes a big difference. Definitely paying attention to the water temperature. As it progresses, you'll see the fish will move shallower and get more aggressive, so you gotta get more aggressive with your cadence. Hey, this week's tip of the week, again brought to you by our good friends up at Mike's Country Meats, the finest jerky on the planet. Oh, come on. God damn it. I was working him. There he is. Thanks, nice Larry. Day. Thanks for bringing that right oh, into me. Oh, smallie. That's what they were. <laughs> I wanted to get a smallie on the spoon. I had them. They're just fun to catch. Yeah, they're fun to catch. Them are nice small mo. Two by two, boys. Hey, I'll tell you what. This spoon has really been working for me. I switched that over. It's the first pass with it. And this is my fourth fish, and it's another big fish. I don't know what I got here. Ooh, screaming. Definitely feels good. Like I still can't Pike again? Oh, no, it's a walleye. Oh, walleye. walleye! You got the walleye. Woo! Hey, I'm telling That's... you, you guys, you guys can keep your crankbaits. No doubt, no doubt that changing the spoon really to the spoon really made a big difference. Oh, what do I got now? I got another oh, species, yeah! <laughs> oh, I am the species king. You know what? There's nothing that you can't catch with these spoons from Moonshine. I got a dogfish. Absolutely awesome. It's exciting. Trying something new, doing something different. Wine and fishing is always good, but being able to really come up with different techniques in different ways to catch these fish, giving them something that they haven't seen before, that's big time, you know? That's what I live for, is try to figure things out. He ticked it about two or three times. And again, I'm working that spoon just like I was working that crankbait before. But what I'm doing, because obviously I got a little bit more weight and it's not a suspending crankbait, I'm just keeping my tip up and winding just a little bit faster, but just 
giving it that same kind of pop, pop, sometimes three pops, sometimes two pops, and just keeping it moving. Once you know what that bait is doing and what you're trying to achieve with it, that's the whole goal right there. That's the key. A brown belly bullhead. So Number another seven. species, another small, a smallmouth, just absolutely throttled that spoon. Well, I can tell you what, I'm gonna add a bunch more of these to my arsenal because you know what, instead of paying nine, 10 bucks, these spoons go for about six or seven bucks and they are just absolutely getting the job done. Loving it. Obviously the crankbait is a, a suspending crankbait where that's gonna go down so far and suspend there. Well, with the spoon, obviously you don't have that option. So what I was doing with the crankbait, I was basically keeping my rod low all the time, like I'm showing you right here. Now with the spoon, what I'm doing is I'm making my casts. I'm constantly whining, but I'm keeping the rod up all the time and I'm popping the bait up versus down like this, like I was doing before with the crankbait. So basically just keeping that rod tip up, reel and snap, snap, reel and snap, snap, reel and snap, snap, and just keep repeating that. And that bait is just bouncing up, bouncing up, hitting the bottom every once in a while, bouncing up. And as soon as I let back on it like this, I'm going pop, 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 let back, drop it back. That's when they're all hitting it. So it's pop, 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 drop it back, boom. That's when they're crushing it. Fish poop. Use number 1,199. What an awesome way to come out and catch a lot of fish, either on crankbaits or catch them on spoons. You know what, we showed you both ways to, to properly work these two different baits. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed our program this week. No doubt, each and every week, we always want to give special thanks to all of our military men and women that serve in the armed forces for the great service that they give this country, because we know why we have it so good. It's because of them. Hey, we also want to thank all of our law enforcement agents and all of our firefighters and paramedics. Remember, we, as of today, we are still living in the greatest country in the world and no doubt it is a great day to be alive. And the best part is we're going to see you guys again next week. Crazy man, crazy. That's what I want. He could buy Twitter, yeah? He could buy this, he could buy that. But he could put satellites up into the guy, but could he buy Mike's Yeah, I got the Mercedes Benz, yep. I got the diesel. Five to 12 minutes. Kiss my honey is what I say. <laughs>